Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Kyle Graves. Please like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Here's an important message I like to get uh, out to everybody. Can you still have faith when you don't get what you want? That the cross is a big clue. Can you, have you been praying and hoping and wishing, thinking that something was gonna work out and it didn't work out the way that you wanted to and you're very disappointed and it's easy to have faith when everything's working your way but can you still have faith when you don't get what you want that's tough that's a tough one and we're gonna take a deep dive into that today you know that your faith cannot be conditional you can't have faith sometime you can't believe in God sometimes and then when everything's working your way and then when it doesn't that you fall apart and abandon God that you have to have faith no matter what what happens to your faith when life gets tough the conditions of your faith when it doesn't go your way and when it does you know we need the love of God not for what he does for what we're going through you have to be a believer no matter what the storm or the circumstance that you're going through and one thing that I am trying to do to try to help my faith not waver and to be strong and to still have faith and to be at peace even when a whole bunch of things go wrong and the thing that I was wanting, the thing that I was uh, thinking was going to work out, it doesn't. And when your life uh, doesn't work out the way that you had thought it was going to, that to try to make God your anchor, to keep you at peace, for you to realize that you know you're still breathing. You might have messed up. I might have messed up. Um, you know, it didn't work out. Whatever it was, multiple things might have not work, have worked out for you. Um, but to keep it moving, stay positive, and to realize that God is your anchor in the storm. And now's the time not to lose focus. You know, a boat without an anchor in a storm is susceptible to travel and be pushed anywhere by the tide in life. And now's not the time for that. To use God as an anchor, to drop that anchor, an anchor of peace, but also to uh, position you re and re to redirect your life, to set your... To, Ask God to help to set you up for success. We need God in our head to be our compass. So not just as our anchor, but also our compass. And to constantly, continuously ask God to help us, myself, and to all the YouTube family out there to make the right decisions constantly and it's it's a daily struggle um, something that that we might think oh man this is what I want or this person is who I want to make a rash judgment uh, a bad decision and the situation or the circumstance doesn't work out the way that you thought um, and to still have faith and to still ask God to help get you to the right place, to steer you into the right direction. So we need God to make us better. So, you know, ask God, God, can you make me better? You know, I need you in my head, I need you in my heart to help make the best decisions for my life 
to help me be a diplomat and ambassador for Jesus Christ to help not make me backslide to go back to the way that you were living thank you God that I'm not perfect I'm not exactly where I want to be but Lord knows I'm not where I was 10 15 years ago you know that I'm I'm still making mistakes but God you're I see that you're helping me get to where I need to be or get to where, not not where you need to be, but then ask God, where do you want me to be? And dealing with the, um, it being uncomfortable and not working out the exact way that you had planned, that you had thought. You know, my grandfather told me that God laughs when man makes plans, but to adapt and roll with the punches is necessary and crucial on this journey that we're all on. So asking God to help make me better, to help make us better, to get in our heads, to make the right decisions, to make the right choices, the healthy choices for our lives, to be our anchor in the storm. And that the cross is a big is a big clue because that's not what Jesus wanted, but he did it anyway. And it happened. But then everything works out for God's glory and for God's good. Because Jesus still lives. He resurrected. And, you know, for people out there who are down, it's a time for not a literal resurrection, but, you know, maybe a philosophical one to change your direction. Ask God to make you better to help reposition you, anchor in the storm as your compass through the storm to redirect you to a positive location, mentally, physically, you know. And he'll do it. And to still have faith when it didn't work out the way that you had dreamed or imagined that it would have. And God can make you better. It's time to break some chains and some generational curses. To ask God to make us better and to give us more of a Christ-like, God-like character. To, to give us God's patience and His peace. So that way, when we interact with people throughout our daily lives that they can tell that they experience God's peace that they react to us in a positive way that we make a positive impact to give God the glory to be diplomats for Jesus disciples for Jesus and that's a daily struggle to ask God to put on the armor of God each day. And it's a daily thing that, that I forget to do at times. To put on the armor of God. So when we walk out into the world, that we ask God to help be our compass mentally and physically in our direction. To help us make the best decisions that we can. To have faith always and rejoice and be positive and knowing that all things work out to God's glory and to God's good and to still have faith in the storm when we're directed and pushed to an area in our lives that's uncomfortable to still have faith to keep taking that step of faith daily and to remain positive 
with love in our heart and having a peace of mind. So I hope that um, you got something out of this. You know, say a little prayer to God. I hope to make everybody who sees this better, that you come into their heart to help them make the best decisions and help guide them to where they need to go. But thank you so much, YouTube. I appreciate you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you very much. Take it easy.